Lá, cá lá, isso aqui. Vamos lá. Nagalagal lang, kaya ayo. Eh, sarigan dos, no? Eh, parang wala talaga ang power ng taong to. Patakbutak mo lang, ayun. Parang sarigan daw doon doon. Round three. Round three na yan. Dito, padakbo-dakbo na naman to. Round four. Judging about of this nature with all the back running in the the last round. Wow. The judges are in their keep right now. Don't ask. This is tough. And you know, remember I mentioned that Casemiro was hoping Woodfield would help him. He's only thrown 69 punches in this fight. And part of the reason is just catching Rigondeaux. It's a tough one. Rigondeaux himself has only thrown 61. Round six, nice. Yeah, nah, round six, nah. Thank 
down to the referee did give Rigondeaux a warning as we begin the second half of our championship encounter. The champion, John Real Casamero. And the silver with orange trim, the challenger ribbon down the white and gold. And according to show stats, Casamero has landed 23 punches in this fight to 18 for Rigondeaux. Now, even if those numbers are slightly askew or you can debate them a little bit, if they're anywhere in the ballpark, then we see not much offensive. Uh, are you ready work. for the biggest drama of the fight thus far? Let's bring in our unofficial yeah. scorer, Steve Farron. How do you have it at the midway point? Well, I have it even. I, I, I think that we should all agree to pay the official judges double tonight. I'm sorry. <laughs> but th these are the kind of rounds when you focus on the fighters and you really sometimes give a round based on one thing. What's happening here? Well, what's happening is it's, 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 I don't want to say, bringing down is fighting his fight, period. You know, which is usually a time to ring, wait for customer to make mistakes. Like and one punch, two punches, three for a round. And try to stay around like that, but Casemiro is not throwing much, you know, he, which he needs to, especially there. You know, you got him in the center of the ring. Go for it. You know, three, two, three punch combination. At least you're getting one of them is going to touch. Good. Mm. Mm. Just that. That is what Casemiro has to do. That what he. That's what he did in the first, second, third round, and it was playing really well for him. And that's how he tired. Run! Mm. Run! Run! Rock and field!
I don't know. I, I, I didn't expect him to be this defensive in this fight. I almost thought that he, he, he was getting the idea that, you know, his boxing wasn't too marketable, and that was the reason why he, in his last two, three fights, he, he chose to stay in the pocket, and he fought great fights, exciting fights. And people, I think, were, that's the re one, one of the major reasons why they were looking forward to this fight, based on the last two performance that uh, Rigondeaux had. Well, early in that last round, um, there were moments where Rigano started things out by landing. You know, he 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 he, 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 he paused with the jab, lands a beautiful straight left hand, and as we pointed out at the time, that was all we saw. He didn't really follow up on that, and Casimiro doing what he has done all evening, chasing Casim uh, Rigano and trying to land the left hook, which to no avail. He did finally get a combination in, though, um, in, in, in this sequence. He gets, he starts out with the left hand, he put pauses with the jab, and gets the hook in. Those weren't tremendous yeah. punches, but he did get some punches in. Yeah, you count the punches, one, two, three. Obviously, the first, second, or third, one of those punches is going to land, and that's why I was asking for more volume and more punches from Casemiro. Well, the numbers, you know, as Marlon pointed out, they're naked the truth. Yeah, the naked truth, they're daunting in how low they are. You know, just the over 500, you know, punches landed by these, maybe close to 600, but, you know, not, not very many uh, thrown by these fighters. And the fans not reacting well to Rigo's... Uh, I'm diving like boo. <laughs> Certainly, in a great way. The number of punches put in show stats no that double landed. Digits. Yeah, not one single double digit landing by any fighter in it. So you know, it's just that's what this was. Wow. Well, we do have a decision. We are waiting with bated breath. Here's Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of action, we have a split decision. Here are the score totals. Judge of ringside, Tim Cheatham scores about 115 to 113 in favor of Guillermo Rigondeau. Judge at ringside, Daniel Sandoval scores about 116 to 112 in favor of John Riel Casimero. And a third judge, Robert Hoyle, scores about 117 to 111 in favor of the winner and still champion, John Riel. Yes, nanalo tayo, nanalo. Nice. Good.